As it is the norm, the UPDF pole bearers led by the band carried the body of Colonel Charles Okelengola and laid it before the mourners for prayer and eulogies. Despite the many who came, only a few had the opportunity to speak. He was such a resilient leader who would always ensure that what is meant to be done in that day should always be accomplished. And I recall he was in charge of the program that day. We visited the Akiwa Stadium. I think that is the time when we made the foundation song. Carlo Iyawara was an officer of incredible talent and enthusiasm who developed tremendous teamwork within the forces and promoted cooperation between the military and the Wanainchi. He continued to be useful to the UPDF even as a minister. Can we get saved? If all of us are saved, Uganda would be different. There would be no such killing. You carry a gun for a purpose, not just for silly behavior we are seeing today. That very drastic actions must be taken on the use of guns in this country. His brother, Sam Ngola, who represented the family, spoke fondly about the slain minister. I told your Excellency, I asked you for five minutes. And to the point, General Ronda told me you have refused to carry the retire. You want us to deliver pipe. The only way we can deliver pipe is through Okedo. We walked up. I ran in from the gate. I said, my brother, you have been released from them and promoted. If you let me down, you don't get a pipe, I will be dead. <laughs> he told me, I am not going to let you down. He went on the field. He succeeded. On blood compensation, Bishop Alfred Oloa, in his sermon, urged the bereaved to be followers of Christ and forgive. Never avenge yourself. Pay in full war in the coming. But leave it to the wrath of God. When man no, God came over. Why? Innocent blood leads its cause before God. Bukara Pop. At the burial, his son Samuel Ngola was also presented to the chief mourner, the vice president, as the chosen one to take on the father's mantle. That the law provides that within 90 days, another member of parliament should be elected to represent the people, the president, considers, accepts, and supports their son, Junior Ngola Okero, to contest and replace Nathan Okero for the remaining period of time. Her Excellency, the Vice President, Zlay Harif. After the laying of the wealth, the slain minister's body left the ground for his final resting place. About 3:30 p.m., the body was lowered to return to dust. To earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. Here on the. Eleven guns are lit around the minister's journey here on half. Eddie, UBC.